Hello everyone and welcome to another Dog and Partridge Brew Day and we're going to be making um, a park rain kit today just to show you how, how simple it is we're going to be making Old Speckled Egg from Dark Rock Brewing quite a comprehensive kit as we said before in the past one more extract in it, four yops labelled ready to add at the time bag of grain, muslin bag, yeast, pure brew and findings so I've got my Pico, I've got a little jacket on it Keep it nice and warm. I've got my dish controller set at 66 degrees. Water in there. Now I do have added slightly more water than those per instructions just because the temperature sensor on the Pico is a little bit high. So I've added about 12 liters water compared to about eight in the instructions. So, your muslin bag, keep your grain. Put it into your muslin bag. Take your lid off the pico. Tie a loose knot in your muslin bag. And we should leave that in there for about half hour. Just pop it in. 30 minutes, 66 degrees, and then we'll be back. Hello, and you join us again. Grain's just about ready coming out. Of course, you don't have to do it in a pico. You can do this on a stove top, in a stove top pan. Any pan that holds eight or 10 liters. Put the grain in there, it's just the same. You've just got to keep it up to 66 degrees. So that's why I've chose pico. So, just pull the grain out and let that drain out. I sometimes dunk it once or twice, just to make sure that the grains are nicely rinsed. And then I tie that to the side of the pet can. Just let them drain for about a minute or two. And in the instructions, it does say to reuse that muslin bag, put your hops in. I, of course, bought myself a hop spoiler. I need that also. This just saves you really reusing the muslin bag, but also when you put your hops in here, or in the muslin bag, it stops the uh, tap getting beamed up. So the next thing to do is just bring the pico up to 100 degrees, or just over 100 degrees. Get that on the boil. Uh, once it's on the boil, we'll be having some hops. So, join us. Right, we're nearly at the boil. As you see, I've left the lid on the pico on the on the raise up to the temperature. I've also put my hot spider in so there's not a sudden drop in temperature when I put that in. I've opened pack B, a bit of the, of the ops. Um, we're now at 96. That's rolling nicely. I'm going to keep it at 90, around about 97 for about an hour. In go the ops. Straight to the spider. Just a controller. 97, 98. Hours time, we'll be back. I actually lied, it's actually 45 minutes, and we're adding pack C, which is uh, mostly the bright water tablet, the probiotic tablet, too, like to say. That goes in there, and if you haven't already done so, those patches of liquid malt extract need to be standing in warm water by now, because you'll soon be adding those and dissolving those in your fermenter. And then adding this to it. See you soon. Right, an hour's now passed, so um, I'll switch the power off. And these ops in pack D have to go in at the end of the boil and they have to stand in there for 10 minutes. While they're standing there for 10 minutes, I'm going to dissolve my uh, malt extract in the fermenter and we'll be back. Right, 10 minutes is up. I've dissolved my uh, malt extract into the, into the brew. Right, 10 minutes is up. I've dissolved my malt extract into the brew. Uh, I'm now going to put my brew in. Sorry, I've dissolved the malt extract. I'm now going to put the brew into the malt extract. Just open the tap basically and let it just flow in. I'm going to give that a bit of a stir once it's in. Top it up with cold water. Now, when I top it up with cold water, I just put that into the fermenter, let the water fall onto that. This stops it all just foaming up and becoming out of the top. 
After that's done, and I've got the right temperature, and on the pure brew, and then the yeast, and then let it ferment for uh, 10 days normally. Once it's fermented, I'll put this in, into a, a pressure barrel, and in a few weeks' time, me and my bro will be reviewing it in the building cartridge. Obviously, my bro will be moaning, because he doesn't much spit. Until next time, toodaloo!